So in our app here, Hello Pearl, we have the cat image here, which is a button. So if I click on the button, the cat says meow. And I have the label here, pet the cat. And I'm going to pet the cat by clicking on it. And I have a button here, talk to me. Uh, this will actually do text to speech. Hi, I am Tigger. So every time I click on this button, talk to me. Hi, I am Tigger. The cat will say something. And then I have my labels, good petting and bad petting in here. And then I have my label variable scores in here, initializing with zero, the good petting score and bad petting score. So in order to do this task, I want to have, I want to pet the cat. So when I pet the cat, there's a good way of petting the cat by the long pet this way. And there's a bad way of petting the cat by just flicking it. So let's see how do we do the good petting. I'm going to show you the good petting and then you will create your bad petting by yourself. The first thing I'm going to do in here is I'm going to go to my blocks and I'm going to write my code in here. First thing I need to do is I need to create a couple of global variables. One is for the good score and one is for the bad score. And as you see in my table arrangement here, I have good score and bad score labels, which are going to keep track of my good score. Every time I pet the cat in a good way, I get a good score. And every time I pet the cat in a bad way, I get the bad score. The first thing that I want to do is create global variables. And I'm going to look at variables and I'm going to select the first one initialize global name to something so this is my block to create and initialize my global variables and if you see I will attach another block in here for the variable value so I'm going to track this and drop it in here and it says initialize global it has name right now I need to give the name of my variable and my name of the variable I'm going to call it as good score and remember when we talked about variables in our previous unit we talked about the naming conventions uh, if it's two words this second word first letter is an uppercase usually a good style for naming conventions is our lowercase variable name so my variable name is good score and now I need to initialize a value to my good score so initially if I look at my designer block my initial value my score for good score is going to be zero so I'm going to go back to my blocks and I am going to go to math and I'm going to drag this value zero and I'm going to put this over here so my initial value is going to be zero now let's do the same thing for the bad score variable so again I'm going to go to variables drag this and drop it here and I'm going to give the name of the variable as bad score so I need to attach another block to provide an initial value to our variable here so I'm going to go to math and I'm going to drag this and drop it in here now that I have two global variables initialized good score and bad score let's create a procedure So every time when I pet the cat in a good way, I get a good score. So every time I do a long click, I should see my other score is updated here by adding one to it. Click on blocks and create a procedure. Now if you see in my blocks and built in, I have procedures. I'm going to click on procedures and I'm going to select the first one. This is creating a procedure that does not return a value. That's just actions happening. I'm going to drag this procedure and drop it here. Now I'm going to give a name to the procedure here and I'm going to call this as update good score. Now this procedure will make some actions happen. It will not return any value. And what do I need to do in this procedure? What I need to do is I need to set the value of my good score so let's take a look at a designer 
So this is my label here. You can see table arrangement good score. And I have initialized my initial value as text as zero. So what I need to do in my update good score procedure is I need to change this value from zero to something else. And the value that something else, I'm going to get it from my variable that I created in here. So what I'm going to do in here is, so what I need to do is I need to set my good score value. What I need to do in here is I need to set my good score value. So this is my label in here, and I need to get the value from the variable. So I'm going to go to the block, and I'm going to go to good score here, because this is my label, good score. And I'm going to look for the text. I'm going to set the value of the text. So I'm going to look for text. OK, this is the one, set good score dot text to. Right now, my text value is 0 for good score. But I want to assign the 0 to my variable. So I'm going to drag this and drop it in here. Now I need to provide a value. What value am I going to assign for my text? Right now the text value is 0 in my designer. So I need to attach it to my variable in here. So I'm going to go to my variable and I'm going to uh, use the get because I'm getting the value from my variable and I'm going to put it up here. And now in here, when I drop this arrow down, I'm going to select good score. So my procedure for update good score is created. I am setting the label. My initial value for my label good score, the text value is 0. And I'm setting that value to my global variable. So I'm going to move this up here. I have my global variables created and initialized. I have my procedure update good score created. Now let's program for good padding. When I say good padding, that means it should be a long click. When I click on the cat, I have to click, hold, a long click. That's a good pet. So let's go to blocks and I am going to go to my button here, button cat image, because when I click on the button, something should happen. I want to create a long click. That means I want to hold the mouse for a few seconds. So I'm going to drag and drop when the button long click is happening, do something. So I'm going to drag and drop this here. When the button cat image is doing a long click, what do I need to do? So the first thing I need to do is every time I do a long click, I have to uh, set my score. So I'm going to go to variables because my score is in the variable. And I'm going to drag and drop this set to. And I'm going to drop this arrow down. And I'm going to select good score. So every time if I long click on the button cat image, my variable good score needs to change. So I'm going to set my global variable good score to a value, but what value am I going to set in? So right now my initial value is zero, so I'm adding one to it. Every time I have a long click, I add one to my score. So right now my global good score variable is zero, so I want to do global variable zero plus one. So that's going to be global good score plus one. So the first thing I want to do is go to math. And then I'm going to select the third one. This is uh, combining, adding two numbers. And I'm going to drag this and drop it here. And in here, I need to put my variable. So that's good score variable. Because whatever variable value I have, I need to add one to it. So I'm going to go to variables. And I'm going to get the value of that variable by putting it in here. I'm going to drop this out of town, select my good score variable, and I'm going to add 1 to it. So again, I'm going to go to math, and I'm going to drag and drop this, and put it in here, and then change the value to 1. Every time I do a long click, I added 1 score to it. Now I have to update my good score. 
so I need to refresh update my good score so I'm going to go to my procedures here and I'm going to call my procedure here so I added one to my score I'm updating my good score now every time when I do a long click I add one to my global variable good score and then I'm calling the procedure that I created here. I'm going to update my uh, good score. That means I'm going to get the value from the variable and put it into my, my label text. So now, two things, score actions happened. Now again, I want the meow to play. So I'm going to click on my sound meow and I'm going to call play so that the sound could be played. Again, I want it to vibrate as well so I'm going to click on meow and I'm going to drag and drop uh, the vibrate here and I'm going to go to map I'm going to pick the number to display and attach it here and I'm going to type in my number 500 so looks like I have completed my code let's test it out and see if it works I'm going to click, hold, and drag. That's my good petting. My score is two. I'm going to click, hold, and pet the cat. This is my good petting. So every time I do a good petting here, you will see the score is updated. We're adding one to my score. So if I click on it, it does say meow, but it's not adding a score. If I click on it, it does not add a score. So for good petting, I have to hold the mouse to a long click, and then it adds that score. So a quick review, what my update good score procedure does. Right now, set good score text. This is what my text is. And what it does is set that text to the variable value this is the variable value we're getting the value from here and setting my text right now my text is zero and I need to get the value from the variable so this is what my procedure is doing update good procedure getting the value from the variable and assigning it to the text uh, label in here so I'm going to get the value from the variable good score and assign it to the label text good score that's what my update good score procedure is doing. So every time I do a long click, I'm adding one to my variable. I'm updating my score, playing the meow, and vibrating it.